thousands of teeth, hundreds of kilos of shark. They're hungry and they have a fearsome reputation. I'm about to get up close and personal with Kelly Tolton's shark population. Kelly Tolton's are offering a unique experience here for anybody that wants to come and dive with their amazing sharks. And we've come up with this new segment called uh, Can We Kill Rod? And Joe here is the senior aquarist, and it's his job to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'll right, do Joe? my best, mate. <laughs> There's some big looking sharks in here. Give me some dimensions. You've got weights in here of up to around 150 kilograms per shark, um, and probably uh, ranging on up towards uh, seven feet long. Uh, so you've got some pretty serious sharks in here. Yep. Great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what other kinds of, uh, what what's, uh, different types of shark have you got in here as well? So we've got the sand tiger sharks, which are the ones with the uh, the very ferocious looking uh, teeth, which are, are very obvious sticking out at all, di all different angles uh, in the mouth there. Uh, we've also got our wobbygong shark, um, wobbygong sitting over behind us there, um, which is a bottom dwelling shark, a type of a carpet shark. We also have two New Zealand species in here at, at the moment, um, and that is the uh, broad nosed seven gill shark, and also the school shark, which is quite a common uh, local species. None of these species really are known for attacking humans, are they? Uh, generally, no. Um, when you say generally no, <laughs> I was hoping that would just be a no. <laughs> um, well, uh, the broad-nosed seven-gill shark has been accused of the odd bite here or there uh, out in the wild, and uh, you know, particularly in California and places like that. As far as deaths uh, and, and real full-on attacks, um, that's very unlikely. Oh, that's good. How big is this magnificent aquarium? Um, well, we're standing uh, underneath uh, over a million litres of water here. Um, and so that's, you know, we've got a very big space uh, uh, for the sharks to move around in. We're also moving a lot of water through this, uh, through this aquarium, so we're turning the water over uh, once every hour and a half. Um, the entire volume of water uh, moves, uh, moves through our water filtration here. How important are sharks to the marine biology, the marine ecosystem? Yeah, well, sharks are really uh, quite important species. They also keep everything essentially in balance. As soon as you start um, removing one aspect from a system, uh, everything else can become out of balance. What does the um, evidence suggest at the moment that the state is around New Zealand waters of uh, these magnificent creatures? There is a decline in the species and there is a pressure on them uh, from human-based uh, fishing activities. Basically, uh, we've got a lot of fishing pressure. Uh, we've got increased pollution and runoff and degradation to the water quality. Um, out there in the natural environment and that's hitting every species. What's most of your time spent doing looking after these guys? There's a lot of work involved in keeping uh, creatures like this um, alive and happy. That really includes everything from um, going out and collecting uh, from the wild, maintaining the water quality uh, inside the aquarium. Um, obviously there's ongoing uh, research into you know all of the requirements, nutritional, uh, behavioural requirements um, that the sharks have. So feeding, is that a highlight or a low light for you? Uh, most definitely a highlight, you know, it's something we look forward to uh, to every time that we do it and it's done twice a week, so it's, um, it's uh, yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays always an exciting time down here at Kelly Tolton, so we prep up all the fish and then uh, jump in there and hand feed those sharks, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Luckily it's Wednesday, <laughs> so I mean I don't have to do it. That just means they're hungry though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go get suited up, I'm all into right. it. Let's go. Bowels of Kelly Tartans now behind the scenes. This is where it all happens. This is Andrew, my dive instructor for the day. Yeah. What's the most important thing I should remember when diving with sharks? Um, just keep it calm, keep cool. Um, obviously, you don't want to get in the way of the sharks. We sort of say that they have right of way in the tank. Um, so it's just keeping out of their way and just generally, you know, observing rather than sort of trying to interact as such. They might come fairly close within a foot sort of thing, so I'm um, just just stand back, just let them pass. Um, if they're coming right at you, sort of move out of the way a little bit, but um, they'll, they'll, they sort of keep going through. If I'm attacked, should I punch them on the nose? Um, in theory, that's what I've been told, but I'd <laughs> rather you didn't. Um, I don't think they will attack, but in, in the wild, maybe. Have you ever had an accident? Not me, no, no. <laughs> what well, does uh, not me mean? Not me. Not, actually, it wasn't you I was worried about, Andrew. Um, <laughs> I've heard all the stories, but no, nah, no accidents, no, nah, no. Nah. It's a good part of your job? Yeah, I love it. So yep. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Should be good. Let's do it.
amazing. <laughs> In fact, it's slightly unbelievable that you are that close to those sharks. I can also reveal they are one third bigger when you're in the water next to them. In fact, they're 100% bigger when you're in the water next to them. I think I was quite blasé about this. I thought, oh, you know, diving with a few sharks. Well, they're pretty big. They don't mess around. They sneak up on you as well. There's a nurse shark in there just came right past my face. It got to about that point and then gave a flick of the tail. And you can feel it. You can feel the power of these awesome creatures. It really is an extreme shark diving experience. Thank you very much to Kelly Tons. I even got some teeth. I'm going to take these home, so I'll be, I'll be super dad tonight.